I am 60 years old and I do not know where to go. Unsure of what to do, groping for relevance and meaning. I was sure what to do, where I must go, how I must do things when I was younger. I had parents to guide me then. I had many elders to mentor me and I was one of many pupils. Life was easy. Now my elders are lesser and my pupils are more. My elders have gone and I feel alone, perennially unready to face many uncertainties. I am now the elder of the groping multitudes. I am 60 and I do not know how to celebrate. I do not know with whom to spend the day. I have had a beginning, I have had my middle, I will have my end, I cannot live for another 60, I hope not, it is the truth. Death and fear of it is perhaps the biggest challenge to being happy on a birthday. Maybe the fear of death is the root of all our fears, maybe. I am not really sure. So many of my friends and loved ones in childhood and teenage years have died. And six months before this day, so many more have passed on because of this pandemic, including my Archbishop predecessor. The fear of death and fear of dying alone is daunting. It is real. Am I only as good as what I can do? Am I only as good as what I have reached and achieved? Am I only as good as the love people lavish on me? When I am dead, will I only be as good as what I can bequeath to those I will leave behind? Am I really as bad as my critics say of me? Or am I really just as good as my supporters declare, that in time, I will just be part of memory is jarring and unsettling. The certainty about things is diminishing, while the conjectures about so many are increasing. The memories are increasing, but the dreams are less, and visions are getting weary dry. I am 60, and I do not know what to do. I do not like to be cynical, but I now understand the cynics. I know now why dreamers become cynics. But then, even if I do not know what to do, I know that God knows what to do with me. I do not have to know what he will do with me, I only have to trust. Trust him more and surrender my self-trust to him. I was in a hurry then because I was told that time is gold. Now that I am 60 and I cannot run as fast, I see that those hastes in the past have made lots of wastes. And they are not recyclable. Time is gold indeed, but life is not a rush for the gold. Life is the gold. Life is not a search. Life is what we have been searching for. Now that I am 60, I see better. That there was no searching to do. It had been given right from the start and has not been taken away. But I was too busy, clutching to the less important tokens. I treasure the tokens in the game instead of the gold. Now that I am 60 and I do not know what to do, where to be and how to be, I can gaze at the blue skies I have ignored and the fragrant flowers I have not fully savored and the fresh breeze I have not enjoyed. And I say, 
I do not have to know it all. I do not need to answer all their questions. I just want God to know me and that's more than enough for me. I do not need to be known by the multitude. I just want to be known by God. I do not need to know what to do all the time. I do not need to know all the answers to the puzzles. I can live with many missing puzzles in my life without feeling jittery. All I need is to know Him and for me to be assured that He knows me and the missing pieces in my puzzle are with Him. They are in good hands much better than mine. He has written my name in the palm of His hands. He has written my name across His heart. That's all. That's it. I am 60 and I do not know more things but I am happy because He knows me.